Almost there. Here we go. Okay. Morning, everybody. Good morning, Dr. Dave. How you doing today? Good morning. Doing fantastic. Thank you so much. How about you, lady? How's good, going? good, good. Things awesome. are going well. Yep. <laughs> Great weekend for you. It was a, yeah, it was a fun weekend. I had an event on Saturday. It was a fundraiser for, um, it's called the Safety Village. And it's a really cool place for adults. Well, it's mostly for kids, but adults think it's pretty cool too. Cause they have like, uh, they teach all about safety. So they have like this little city in the back. Um, so they have like a little Tim Hortons and a little grocery store, like, you can't go in them, but they're all big buildings and they have streets through them and the stoplights. And so it teaches you about like you can bring your bicycles there and they teach you about bike safety and then they have pedal cars and then they have railway tracks and to teach wow. you about the train safety. And yeah, it's just a really cool place. So um, oh, awesome. yeah, we were there fundraising for that um, wonderful uh, resource that we have in Welland and got my granddaughter there who was able to check out all the cool stuff too so okay, <laughs> always fun to uh share that were you a um a, a participant or were you a, a vendor i was a vendor and so i brought my oracle cards and my books and uh yeah so it was a lot of fun and um yeah, there's going to be some just lots of new opportunities coming up, maybe for some speaking engagements as well with my new book. Uh, mm -hmm. Shirley's, who's the CEO of that, was really uh, excited about the book. And yeah, so lots of good things, lots of new things happening. So it's, awesome. a, it's a great day. And then yesterday, got together with some friends and was out in nature and just hanging out. So it was nice to enjoy the sunshine and just hang out for the day. So Terrific. Yeah. Was that, So what was your, uh, what was the message that the uh, divas were bringing about safety in that venue? You know, I never even thought of thinking about that, but that is a very good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never really thought about that, but uh, yes, the they do like safety. They are all about safety, as I am right. too. I am the health sure. and safety guru. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, I used to teach fire safety there, actually. So at the okay. safety village. So, mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Lots of all lots right. of fun stuff. Yeah. How about your weekend? Productive. And, yeah. Oh my gosh! Yesterday actually felt like uh finally really really nice um sunny and warm and warm. yeah that's what it's supposed to be so and then you know here being michigan we're supposed to have sleep today and thunderstorms overnight and <laughs> yeah we got one day so sometimes we have to pay <laughs> It's all right, because <laughs> it was gorgeous all day. <laughs> it was nice yesterday. We had the winds the night before, like, oh, severe. Yeah. Like, goodness sake. I was surprised that like, when I went driving around on Sunday that there weren't more trees. Like, there wasn't any trees down that I could see. And, like, it, they were substantial winds. So oh, yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah, it was uh, it was very windy, so... Yeah, we had, um, it was a uh, gale force warnings up. Um, so it, they were, and m mom and I were coming around um, Anchor Bay and neither of us had ever seen the bay uh, with spray that was coming up on the seawalls and like higher than the houses. And it was like, never seen it like that before. I mean, it looked like an ocean. It was, it was incredible. Um, luckily, 
it happened to be a little bit of a cove and wasn't bad coming across on the ferry because that was our <laughs> like, oh no i was like gonna be <laughs> but it wasn't bad it was a little rolls rolly and you know but not bad compared to what that was because i was like oh my god we're both gonna need xanax after that <laughs> that i don't know great. if i would have crossed in the ferry i would have been like I think I'll just find somewhere to stay on the mainland until that. We got our fur out. babies here, <laughs> you know. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> and and then there's always the potential that it could close, and now you're really stuck. So yeah, I know you just take your chances and go. <laughs> oh boy! Lots of prayers. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and the prayers were answered because it Yay. wasn't bad when we got here. So <laughs> we're like, oh, oh, got this. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Yikes. Mm. I like watching the water Sometimes. from shore. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be out there in it going like this, you know, that is not my idea of fun. But uh yeah, from yeah. shore it's like, woo, look at those cool waves. That's really cool. But I'm over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> really wanted to stop to get pictures because it was really phenomenal. But at the same time we're like no before because it was supposed to it was just starting and stuff, so it was gonna get worse. And so otherwise I would. I wanted to stop so bad to get some pictures, but no, no. If it's getting worse, we need to get out of Dodge. And <laughs> for sure. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's see let's what the divas are saying today. I'm still getting a little bit of feedback in the background there. Okay. How about now? Uh, testing one, two, three. Uh, just a little bit. I can hear. Okay, let's try that. Testing one, two, you three. Have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be silent and chest it out. <laughs> I'm doing it with my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're good. Okay. All right. So, oh, that one looks like it's going to come out. Ooh, basil. Basil's our first one. We just one. had that last. We did. Yeah, I was just thinking mm. that. Mm. All about hydration and water. And look at that. We were talking about the waves. And here we are. <laughs> basil's about water. Look at that. Huh. Yeah. It's funny how the universe does that. Do, 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 do. All right, our second one, oh, it's going to be ginger. And the third one is going to be LMI once again. Mm. Mm. Wow. Well, let's see. So our first one is basil. And this one in the first, uh, the first, uh, what the heck do you call it? The first card that I'm pulling is basil. And it is sitting <laughs> in the, it represents, this is what it is. It represents the resources that we currently have. So <clears throat> water is the most important element for life on Mother Earth. When we are hydrated, thinking is clear and sharp. Our focus is strong and on task. It is time to ask yourself, am I drinking enough water each day? I am basil. As a plant, I require I require water regularly or I will wilt. The human body is comprised of 80% water, which regularly needs daily hydration as well. Make a commitment to listen to your body's needs for water. Headaches, feeling of, of hunger and low energy can all be signs of dehydration. Honor your body and all it does for you by hydrating your body. Drink at least a couple eight ounce glasses of water per day, your body counts on you. So I'm saying at least that is a minimum. More mm. is better than just a couple of glasses. And I think you had mentioned that before. The standard, what's that again? What was the equation? Yeah, what was the equation? Yeah, for yeah that? the standard equation is your body weight divided right by two. Body. And that is the minimum um, okay. ounces per uh, for for that person. 
So your body weight divided by two. Okay, thank you for that. So yeah, mm -hmm. minimum, and that's just keeping your body <laughs> without shriveling up into a prune or a raisin. You know, right. more is better though, because you want to be sharp. You're, and when you don't have enough water and enough sleep, what I noticed is um, your mental health starts to really start to shift. I noticed when I was on mm -hmm. midnight shifts at um, the shelter where I used to work as a relief person, like my body does not like midnights. It does not like being up at night. I like going to bed at like 9, 930 and waking up in the morning. I don't like this whole nonsense of being up in the middle of the night. And I remember that I would start to get very shaky and I would start to get angry. <laughs> it would just pop out of nowhere and it just like this anger would overcome me I'm like wow where's that coming from and like nobody was doing anything because everybody was sleeping other than me but yeah it's um it's not a good place for your body or your mind to be in so making sure that your body and mind are hydrated is really really important and clean water clear water mm -hmm. My Is dad used to be, water? oh, there's water in beer. I'm like, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> or coffee, you know, like clean filtered water. It's good. Yeah. Or if you have like fruit in it or something like that, that's good. But make sure you get lots of water in there. <laughs> right. You know, and, and that's one thing that the, I tell folks uh, about the hydration factor is that as, uh, as long as there isn't uh, caffeine, um, or carbonation, no. As a general rule, it's not supposed to count towards your water intake, um, but definitely not uh, caffeine because caffeine is a diuretic, and so it pulls mm -hmm. it uh, pulls the water out of the cells, so your body's not able to use it. So then you have to drink even more to replace what it's taking out. Um, but then uh, carbonation, it depends. It depends on what kind uh, that it is. So there's some natural carbonation. So there's um, uh, mineral water, um, San Pellegrino in the green bottles. Um, that has a, um, it's a more natural and it has the minerals in it. So it's a carbonation, but it's a natural. So it's that still counts towards water intake. Um, mm -hmm. That's one of the things that I, because it's, it's bad for you, but I love the carbonation. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one way that I can get away with it and I'm still you know watching you know my my hydration factor um but on honestly though juices milk um any and all of those things do count towards that hydration it's just not the best because it's not readily usable by the body because then it's got to you know still go through the taking out the nutrients and filtering the sugars and all of those things. And so it's not optimal. Um, but if that's the only way that we can get it into people, all right, well then we'll do that. If you're gonna be able to, because I, I'm not a fan of drinking water whatsoever. Um, if it's not flavored or something, I don't like it what, actually at all. <laughs> but if it's flavored, I'm all about it. Um, and so, like in my practice, I would do a bottle of water in between every single client, which is the bottles that I have 16.9 ounces. Um, but I keep it at room temperature. So between that was my routine. So I'd get out of session, you know, wash my hands, go to the bathroom and grab a bottle and I would down it in one gulp and eat the whole thing just did, 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 and done. And my uh, me and my bladder had a great working relationship so it was about on an hour and a half <laughs> time so I would have just enough time for that next session and then you know I'd have to I'd be ready for the bathroom and if the session was running over uh, I might be a little bit more antsy and dancy because <laughs> <laughs> we're getting at that time I know <laughs> but um and and I would always notice especially like on weekends if I I wouldn't if I wasn't working um, or in the office, then I would not be as regimented uh, with my water, which is fine. I didn't necessarily need to be because I was staying so hydrated throughout the week. So it was all right. But I noticed if I started to yawn 
I knew it and it's odd, but I, it was just how many years I did it. If I started yawning, I knew that I needed water mm. um, because it's, it's one of your body's ways of letting you know that if you're starting to get tired and, and that, especially like in the middle of the day, part of that is because you're not hydrated enough. So a lot of times in that slump that a lot of folks will get into that two, three thirty ish mark in their day, if they were to add water instead of a caffeine, because most folks go for that, like got to pick me up so I can get through the day. If they did a bottle of water first, they would probably notice that that would dramatically change. Mm, so get that water true. in. And, and that's what I tell folks. I'm like, I'm never going to tell anybody to not have something, but just mm. know that being much more conscious about your choices. So it's not that you can't have the coffee. Um, and the world's a better place if I have my coffee. So <laughs> it's, it's better for everybody involved, really, <laughs> for everyone's safety. <laughs> um, but with that, though, the days that I do have coffee, then I make sure that I'm looking at, at making sure I'm upping that, that hydration factor to offset that. Right. And so I think that allows people much more better parameters that they can kind of work with like oh I totally can do that then and mm -hmm. it's just that planning part of it you know so there's a whole bunch of apps you know that that can help remind you there's now smart bottle that will light up and jingle and tell you when you're supposed to take if you haven't had enough water and you set your timers on them those are super awesome um so there's a lot of different ways um and there's a free app the one it's called water logged um, it's a free app on both Android and Apple products, and you can download it. You set it for the reminders, and there's a do not disturb during the middle of the night. You know, you set it all up, and it's free. It's awesome. You know, oh, that's just, cool. Just get in that routine so that mm -hmm. we, and I can never not talk about water and mention remembering that water is the element of emotion. Mm, and so yes, it is. If we do not, have the proper hydration then our water or and or emotion is getting stuck so one of the things that a lot of us do especially folks that are so busy well they don't have time to deal with their emotions either it's same thing they're dehydrated and so the body's telling the story it mimics the same thing it's just a metaphor if you will of what the body's telling us the story of so they're not paying attention to their emotions they don't have time for their emotions mm -hmm. Just Absolutely. Wanted to have that up there, you know. <laughs> it is a good one. I I drink a lot of chlorophyll because it's minty tasting and I love mint. So um that's always good. As well as um I was reading somewhere uh something many, many years ago, but they said if you put like uh cucumbers or lemon in your water, then your body absorbs that more than just drinking the water because then it just kind of flushes through but yeah especially in the summertime when it's really hot instead of losing all that water as you're drinking it it keeps in your body more it keeps your body hydrated more so just yeah. to keep that in mind with the nice warmer weather coming up so I'm so excited about that yeah yeah so our absolutely. second one yeah <laughs> So our second one is ginger, and that is things that we need to let go of. So I am ginger. I grow in the dark, in the depths of the soil. Many quit when results are not forthcoming. Yet, if you're patient, not for your time, but universal time, things begin to happen. A plant sprout bursts forth from the ground after the root system is strong and in the dark soil. The stem extends upwards, providing nourishment, just as the steps we continue taking to nourish our dreams. Have you begun a project and are not seeing the rewards? Are you trying to rush something that needs more time? Mm. Hmm. So, what is coming to me with the hydration one in the water for people that are say they made some new year's resolutions back in january almost three months ago and are like you know i still want to get healthy and i still want to 
have a healthier body, but they're rushing it. And it's like, well, you know, how long did it take you to get to where you are right now? A month, two months, maybe years. Years are probably more like it. Now then it's gonna take you a little bit longer to be able to reset all those habits and things that you did in order to get where you were before you started to change. So don't expect things overnight, but create those good habits and you will see a difference, even a slight 1%. So if you're on a path here and you just make one little change that is going to take you on a totally different journey than if you were to stay going straight but it takes time and there needs to be that consistency just like if you were planting seeds in the garden you're not going to go out each day and dig it up to go well, what's it doing no you know it's down there you know that things have to happen in the soil. You know that that root system needs to grow before it can sprout through or it's going to die. It needs to have that base, that foundation before it can start moving upwards. And that is so important. So in everything we do, goals, you know, better health, you know, even using the healing, it's, um, it's not a one and done. It's not like, okay, I'm going to eat healthy today and that's going to clear everything up. Mm. No, <laughs> it'd be nice if it did, but it won't. So it's creating those habits and that lifestyle that is going to help you change over time, which you will notice even in a week, after a week of doing this consistently and committing to yourself, you will notice a difference. And you just keep on going. And that's how you make the changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. I, I I think that a lot of folks, will they do lose uh, hope even when they're not seeing those changes. And, and it's that instant gratification that folks are, are looking for. But if, if you have instant gratification, then normally that's not a sustainable solution mm -hmm. so as a general rule this is kind of how that how that the universe works with that and you know coming back to look at ginger uh, so ginger as a essential oil uh first thing that pops in to, um is our digestion um so it aids in balancing out the turbulence if you will in <laughs> our digestion <laughs> But looking at that, we just talked about uh, hydration and in water element being the emotion. So ginger is that that vibration and frequency that can help us find the perfect balance and bring us back to that balance. Where and and it's just a small amount. And and I think this is the key that I'm feeling for today is that when you're using ginger, if you've ever used it or cooked with it or um, had it with food it's a very small amount that you need it's not a ton and if it is then oh good god then there's something really wrong <laughs> <laughs> it's very small amount and and there is the actual lesson is that ginger teaches us is that it does take a little bit to be able to make a change so mm. just with a little bit just a little bit of a tweak or a little bit of a change in our perception it can be able to alter where we actually think we are. If we stop at the moment, pause, and and not think where we are presently and shift our perspective, well, then instead of how, you know, how far away I am to my goal, um, if we just shift just a little bit and look at, wow, but let's look at how much we've done or accomplished. Yeah. Just that little bit will then align us with that positive momentum again so we can continue to keep that progress. And, absolutely um, that, that's kind of what came in with with ginger when it was showing up so. and with the digestion as well it's letting go <laughs> right yep, not let to go. Say. <laughs> <laughs> 
So not tying to the end result, like, well, it has to be this way or it has to be this way. And I want it to look this way. Well, the universe has bigger plans than we can ever even imagine. So surrendering and letting go and just taking the action steps that you need to take every day to commit to yourself to whatever you're doing. As long as you're taking action and not holding tight to what you think this needs to be, it's going to be so much more amazing than you could have ever thought possible. So let it go. <laughs> yeah. You know, one one thing that when we're like teaching manifesting classes or when someone's got a, a, a target that they're looking at a goal or whatever it is they're, they're going for or moving towards, if a lot of times that we have to, we think that we need to stay that focus on that, that goal. Like you're talking about, like exactly what I'm looking for, what I want. Okay. Cause that's how a lot of folks are wired. Doesn't mean it's the right way. And instead of having to change that mindset and letting go necessarily of just that, if we can just also add or something greater. So mm. this is what I want or something greater. Because then I'm not shutting the door for the universe to be able to provide any and everything that that they actually, you know, the universe has in store for us. Because otherwise, we're limiting everything that the divine can work in our life. If we just give that little bit afterwards to keep that door open, you know, this or something greater. Just give permission for more to flow through. Something that's even more beneficial that we might not even have in our realm of thinking or imagining like keep that door open for the universe to still work its magic absolutely that's a really good thing yeah <laughs> it's always good to put that on the end because it just keeps that wide open that it's like hey well this is what i'm thinking but hey you got some better ideas i'm all ears for it so right so then the last one is lmi and this is how it's all playing out are you feeling drained emotionally? Ooh, there's those emotions again. Mm. <laughs> Stressed? Come sit and I will rejuvenate you. I am LMI and I work in both the spiritual and earthly realms. This means I can help calm, balance, and ground your whole being. Meditation is something I love being part of. Invite me to your meditations and I can assist with aligning the chakras as well as reducing stress to promote a more meditative state. And this is really important to do on, now if you've never meditated or you feel that you're too busy to do all this, even if you start like once a week, five minutes or even two minutes, just start with something and get in the habit, the regular habit. But if you sit each day and just connect with your inner self, connect with your heart, connect with source, and you start receiving and you start feeling those messages on what your soul's purpose is here. And everything becomes a lot clearer. And drinking water helps the connection to source. That is a huge, huge part of that. And being in line and with that connection to source of the universe or God or whatever you choose to call that is going to make manifesting so much easier because you're in alignment. It's not like, well, you know, I really want to do this, but your body and your gut and your mind are like, no, you don't. But you're like, but yeah, I do. And you're no, no, you don't, you don't take that door any other door but that one but you have set your mind so it kind of helps you sit and be within your soul going you know i know that's not a good door but i really really want it but i understand that that is not going to be for my highest and best we're going to choose this door instead but just to have that connection to source and to really align our bodies, our mind, our emotions, and our spirit, life becomes so much easier. 
It's like you're in the flow. It's doors open up when you're manifesting something and you're taking those action steps. It's just like, oh, here you go. And it's just like, wow, that was quick, you know? And it's just that easy once everything starts to align. So taking that time, whether to start with, it's once a week for two minutes and then extend it to five. But try and do it just for a couple minutes each day. It doesn't take long. It's just like, and I've mentioned this before, if you've got a child that you're trying to speak to and they're running around like a lunatic, how much are they going to hear? Nothing. And it's just like the universe. The universe wants to impart wisdom. It wants to give you messages. But if you're running around going, oh, I'm too busy because I have all this stuff to do. If you just took the time to sit there and open up your ears and listen, life would be so much easier. And then you wouldn't be running around on this hamster wheel going like crazy. You'd be like, oh, well, that's a better way to do it. All right, I'll do it this way. And things just open up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would love to get some feedback from folks if they would um, put in the comment section um, whenever they get to read or, or uh, listen to this, watch this um, episode of uh, who needs or wants help to learn about meditation. Mm. Um, I would love to hear like, okay, who, who wants to do that? And what kind of questions do you have about it? Um, so that maybe we can help facilitate some of that for you. Um, Absolutely. That's a great idea. You know, one of the things when, when people, we talk about meditation that a lot of folks just believe that they can't do it for one. Um, they don't know how um, there's, there's a whole host of lists that I hear from folks that, you know, don't do meditation and I just, I can't, I don't have time. And I'm like, well, that's crap. Literally when, how often do you go to the bathroom? you can take two minutes yeah <laughs> you know like while you're there what else are you gonna do get off your phone because that's growth um taking your phone with you um so you can and, and literally just take just a little bit of time and and just come to the breath you know that's all you really need to do is just close your eyes for a moment for a count of five maybe like five breaths that's it just to be there you're not grabbing a phone you're not looking at your phone you're not just five breaths you usually do 12 to 24 of those you know every minute so i think you can spare five out of your entire day when we break it down to that I'm like yeah i totally can do that yes you can mm -hmm. of course we want to get to the space where we can have you know, half hour, an hour of meditation time with the incense and the bells and the candles and all the really fun stuff, you need none of it other than your breath. And oh, if you're not breathing, you're not living. So you already got it unless you're phoning it in from the other side. So there's no excuses, none. <laughs> oh. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> That's another show. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, and so really it's just to get that grounding and so this wonderful um oil is is helping us it's another one of those tools to allow us to drop anchor quickly meaning mm -hmm. that we can just get into that center place so we can come into neutral for just a moment because what that does is an amazing job at being able to give us clarity on what's happening or not happening in our life but it, it's that instead of you running so fast ahead of yourself because you're not even in your body, this allows us like our body to actually catch up to our brain and our heart and our uh, aspirations and everything else because it's usually energetically way ahead of us before mm -hmm. our body even gets there. And you can't figure out why the body gets caught up to you and you're exhausted. Well, what the hell happened to you? Oh, well, I've been trying to catch you all day because <laughs> we never were centered and together at one point. <laughs> So this is a wonderful tool that helps allow us to stay in that thunder place. Um, and, and now we'll go back to, um, to ginger. It just takes a little bit. 
again so it it lends nicely to this oil letting us know it just takes a little bit of grounding that can make a significant change in our day in our mind um our, our mindset um our outlook our interpretation of everything just a little bit of grounding can make that kind of a difference and then if you really allow yourself the the blessing and the gift of actually having that time yeah to center focus on a regular basis you start creating that cell memory and it takes less time as a practice to get there, but you get to enjoy the time being in it. So just a little bit, I think today is that really is what I'm feeling for a lot of folks is mm -hmm. just a little bit can massively change everything that we have on our landscape. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Dave, for being with us today and having mm -hmm. conversations with the divas so we are going to close out this session and we're going to be right back with what if and talking about positive possibilities so wherever you are in the world mm -hmm. have a wonderful day and have a wonderful week and we'll talk to you soon bye everyone <laughs>